Go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Good. You also had um, Aduwale. Yeah. Um, he played the, evan the evangelist, and yes. th that was one of the, I think, one of the most uh, impactful and moving scenes yeah. in the film. Yes. Um, what was that like uh, working with that with that part of the film? Well, you know, with that particular role, is, is the, he's the last guy on the list that the driver has to kill, and and that last person on that list, you needed somebody who can deliver. Um, you know, first of all, who can really capture the cadence of being an evangelist, a traveling evangelist. Mm -hmm. Second of all, a guy who can give you a pass, a guy who mm -hmm. used to be bad, now who turned the other cheek and is trying to do good. And at the same time, facing a guy like the driver played by Dwayne Johnson, who's here to kill him. You put these two together, there's a lot of layers. You want an yeah. actor who can deliver that. I had a hard time finding the right person. And then one day this tape came and Adewale did one small scene. He only did about 30 seconds of the scene. And right there I knew that he was the guy and I made sure, made the phone calls, pleaded for him to get involved with the film. Um, he's one of my favorite scenes in the whole yeah. film. Yeah. And I think he did a great job really delivering that, that moment, yeah. the emotional moment, part of the aspects of the film that we can be able to bring different elements to the material. That boy they killed is my brother. I can't bring him back. In my heart, I'm sorry. Can you at least find it in your heart to forgive me? I can't. Sorry. But I forgive you for what you're about to do. Lord, save me. God can't save me. There was a lot of great emotional uh, moments, um, and I just commend you just on just the characterizations. There was also a theme, I think, with children. There were there yeah. were a lot of uh, uh, perspective of, of kids and yes. family, yes. and which is sort of like a theme in your work. Do you want to talk about that with Faster? Yeah, I mean, I think that's one of the things that initially, at the end of the day, underneath everything that attracted me mm -hmm. with all these great sequence and action scenes mm -hmm. and stuff that leave you on the edge of, their, in the edge of your seat. Yeah. The end of the day, thematically, it's about family, and that's what the driver learns throughout the movie. He lost his brother, and he's seeking revenge, but what he learns about revenge along the way is that he's trying to trying to achieve family while Billy Bob's trying to get back to his family, while Oliver Jackson Cohen is trying to start a family. And all these three people who's trying to track each other down and kill one another realize that there's something happening beyond them from a spiritual level. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, Dwayne is very much um, attached and kids and how it plays in his life and how he leads mm -hmm. um, to see things completely different. And the young man that's in the last scene in the movie that he looks, that's my son actually, Chase Tillman, so that you got his first uh, um, kind of debut in the film. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> um, the, the ending, speaking of the ending, was yes. sort of, it, it, I don't want to give it away, but mm -hmm. it seemed like there's, it, there is, Cliff, like there might be some more. Is there a sequel happening? What's you know what life goes on. The good thing about this film is that it takes place in five days. After five days, things can change, and you can see things a little different. But there's more. There's still you see him. You know, you see him in his car in his SS, and there's more to the story. And I think that's what great storytelling is. It want you to feel fulfilled. Mm -hmm. but also give you an idea to wonder what's going on with these ca characters mm -hmm. after after right. you leave the theater. And I think what it is is you try to create characters that you know who live next door to you, and that's the most important thing as a storyteller, as a director, that you want to do. I definitely got that feel like it was an, as an action film, there was the, you, you felt connected to all, you felt like you can relate, yeah. and they all the characters all seemed sort of like they're people that you would know. Yes. Um, but with that said, also the, the some of the driving scenes and the action scenes are just off the chain. So, what was that like with uh, Dwayne? Did he do his own stunts? Did you mm -hmm. do? Did you have a like? How did this? Well, the main thing what we try to do, like for us, you know, everybody did this movie for love. We had a certain amount of budget. So with this certain amount of budget, you know, visual effects, CGI, we didn't have all the money for that. One of the things that we decided to do. Uh -huh. Let's go back and do it ourselves. Let's go back and do it for real. Mm -hmm. Let's see what Dwayne Johnson is like to be in the SS Chevelle uh, wow. driving. So he was driving that car. He was driving. All those times when you wow. see him in the car, you see his face. Yeah. 
that's him behind the wheel. And I mean, it took time for him to do that. It took like a month of him mm-hmm. getting used to the SS Chevelle, him getting used to the GTO. He drives mm-hmm. early on the film when we see him as a younger kid. Mm-hmm. Um, also, the, the, the killer, he had to drive, learn, Oliver Jackson Cohen had to learn how to drive the Ferrari. Um, what it's like to be behind that car. That's a fast car. I mean, the car can pick up to 10 to 100 in less than like two seconds. So these are the, these guys have to get behind that and Thank see you. what it's like. And it's fun to put these out on the road and do it ourselves. Mm-hmm. And I think the audience can realize this is really happening. Yeah. This is what they did in the 70s, and that's what we try to emulate. Are you a, a fast car driver? Are you? You know, I am. I, I own burn a, some rubber on the road. Or? I, I own a 1967 Galaxy. But one thing after the movie, I realized I did something that I should have done in my contract when I got when I signed to direct the movie. I should have put in the contract that I can get one of the SS Chevelles. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> I hear those other guys have doing that out there. You know? uh, well, next time if there's yeah. if there's a, if there's a sequel <laughs> to cool. it. Um, great. 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 Thank you. Great. All right. Good. Are we still good? We're good. I appreciate it. All right, Thanks man. so much. Thanks. Thanks. You're my, my first interview. I was oh, great, man. <laughs>